Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Moreover, I said unto the king, if it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come unto Judah. Verse 7. And a letter unto As Asfa, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace. Shall the king say anything you ask? Sir, this is my request. Which appartained to the house and for the wall of the city, the king destroyed it. And for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me according to the good hand of my God upon me. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah. The favor of God is the good hand. But he has to use the man. Then your behavior towards the man is what will release it. There are men who have good hearts and they want to favor you, but your behavior deny them. Do you know you can meet a man and you, after you cry, you say, I just need 50,000, sir. I promise you, I promise you. Just give me two months, I will return it, 50,000. The man said, okay. And the man gave you 50,000. And he won't ask you. Two months, four months, six months, one year, two years, three years. He won't ask you. And you know that the 50,000 you return after two years has reduced to 10,000. He won't ask you. But can I tell you what? A day will come where you will be in, the, in a, a terrible need and he's the only one to answer, he will not respond. He said, don't mind them in this church. They are so wicked. Mind them. All these big men in this church, they are so wicked, though. they are just big, big for nothing. They don't help anybody in this church. Though. They don't. And no, you won't tell anybody the story that you were so unfaithful. And the man, when he was giving you the 50,000, he knew that he wasn't lending you the money. We have canceled 4 million from this house that brethren collected at various times. And they have left this house. I left them with God. It is your behavior. When people see some people, there are some people who have ministered deliverance, they more refuse to go. They say, we know they go Ask him the thing where you do. We ask the person, he said, I, don't, I didn't do anything. I said, we bind, bind, bind. Okay, they won't say, you know what? I just walk out. Let me wait for him at the car park. The demons will go and wait at the car park. When you know, they enter the car, so, so you went there to disgrace us. The demons will just give signal. Then seven more stronger demons will come. Their case become worse. They say, I've been coming for deliverance for, for, for almost three years. Nothing has happened. Meanwhile, even the car they are driving, they stole the money. The cloth they are wearing, they stole the money. The shoe, they stole the money. How can demons go? Character provokes favor. There are people ready to favor you, but your character has denied them favoring you. Look at what happened to Nehemiah here. Give me back the scripture, please. And a letter unto us. Forest. 
that he may give me timber to make beam for the gates of the place which appertained to the house and for the wall of the city and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted me, and the king granted me, and the king granted me according to the good hand of my God upon me. Verse 9. Then I came to the governor beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had set, sent captains of the army and horsemen with me, a slave. Can somebody lift your hand and say, Lord, I convert this kind of favor. Help me, Lord. Just let me visit my mother's house. Sir, since I came, this, I've been in this house for two years. You know, I have not seen my parents. And your boss, okay, that's fine. When do you want to go? He said, I'm going to Susu Sude. He said, okay. Um, you come. Go to the market. Buy 12 wrappers, 12 blouses, 12 shoes, 12 bags for the mother. Favor. Then this driver, uh, two policemen accompany him. When a slave arrives in his village with police escort, now slave be that, is carrying the honor of the man he's serving. Do you know you serve to attract the glory of a man you serve? You serve to carry the grace upon the man. You attract by service. That's what happened to him here. Then I came to the governor beyond the river and gave them the king's letter. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. Verse 10. Then, this is where the enemies of progress. When Sambalat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, hide of feet, it grieved them. It go they pepper them. It go they sweet us. Exceedingly, he peppered them exceedingly that there, there, there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. May God honor you so that your enemies will be grieved. May favor rest upon you that will make your enemies to cry. May God show you such favor that we make them to be grieved exceedingly in their heart. Somebody holla hallelujah. hallelujah. Favor. Can I hear you shout favor? Favor. favor. It is grace. What I'm saying to you this morning is that this is in you. You can activate it by your character. You can activate it by diligence. You can activate it with your gifts. You can activate this favor by the way you serve service. This is the last one. Daniel chapter 2. By your spiritual disposition, when you become a solution, a spiritual solution, you can attract men. You can attract favor. Daniel chapter 2. I'm reading verse 27 to 29. Daniel answered in the presence of the king and said, the secret which the king has demanded cannot the wise men, the astrologers, the magicians, the soothsayers show unto the king. But there is a God where? In heaven that revealeth secrets and maketh known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in the later days, the dreams and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these. Verse 45 and 49. 45 and 49. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hand, and that it breaks in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold. The great God has made known to the king what shall come to pass. 
hereafter. And the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof is sure. Then Daniel requested. Where did you go back to verse 46? This is 45, 46. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel. <laughs> and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet order unto him. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your God is a God of gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets. Seeing thou couldest reveal the secrets. Then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him many great gifts and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel requested of the king and he said Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king. Somebody say gifts. Listen to me. The reason why the spiritual gifts are given to us is not only to benefit us, but to benefit others. That when we become solution to our generation, become solution to people, we will attract favor. Somebody say favor. That don't seek spiritual gifts to pride yourself, to provoke notice me spirit. Seek spiritual gifts to be a solution to people. That's how your favor will manifest. Now, here Daniel was a Daniel again was a slave. I'm giving you four slaves that became outstanding: Joseph, Esther, Nehemiah. And Daniel. Do you know what it means to be a slave? Your rights are denied you. But here you are a free person. Don't allow circumstances to dictate the, dictate the pace of your life. Be a master of whatever is happening around you. Let it not dampen your character. Don't allow circumstances of life to turn you into what you are not created to be. When I met several prostitutes in, in Italy, all they told me, hey, my father had many wives and many children and nobody is taking care of us. So I decided to be a prostitute to, take, train, my, to train my siblings. You're a fool. F-O-O. Fool. 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 You don't need to slave yourself for anybody. You know why? Everyone who came, came by themselves. And their destiny is packaged for them to work it out and manifest. If you have, you can give. But do not reduce yourself to an animal to train other people. Because when you finish training them, they will send you out. And it has happened to many of them. You say, I sell my body to send you to school. She will say, did I, sell you to, did I tell you to sell your body? Some will even say to you, hey, if you, if you help me, are you the first person to help anybody? Are we not from the same womb? Then you will cry. Meanwhile, you have battered your life. Don't. Don't allow situations. Let me show you something. This is what God said. Prophecy 31st December. 22. The turning point for Nigeria has come. Did you hear it? 
Did I say it? There will be events and evacuations that will affect many. I called my junior brother yesterday in the east. He said, bro, dad, I said, yes. He said, no shishi anywhere. He said, nobody's even accepting old money in the east. I called the one in nowhere. I called the one in Abai. They say, they say, he said, shops are closed because they don't want to sell to anybody with old money. Thank you.